Hi, I'm Andrew Brogdon for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Developers often use the Android emulator during their day-to-day -day development to quickly test the latest changes before they're committed. In addition, developers are increasingly using the emulator in their continuous integration systems to run a larger suite of automated tests. To better support this use case, we're open sourcing the Android emulator container scripts and improving the developer experience around the deployability and debugability of Android emulator. Head to the post to find out more. Stackdriver has added new log sources through a partnership with Blue Medora and their bind plane technology, which makes it possible for you to gather Stackdriver metrics across sources, from on-premise and hybrid cloud environments to other clouds and third-party software. If you're using Stackdriver to monitor your Google Cloud Platform resources, you can now extend your observability to include logs from environments like non-GCP Kubernetes, including Amazon EKS, Azure AKS, and Kubernetes running on-prem, security-related services, Microsoft services, and more. To get started with Stackdriver logging and bind plane, check out the post. We've introduced a number of enhancements to our Vision AI portfolio. AutoML Vision Edge can now perform object detection as well as image classification, all directly on your Edge device. We've also brought object detection to AutoML Video, enabling it to track the movement of multiple objects between frames. And the Video Intelligence API can now detect, track, and recognize logos of popular businesses and organizations. For more info on these enhancements, check out the post. HTTPS pages commonly suffer from a problem called mixed content where sub-resources on the page are loaded insecurely over HTTP, threatening users' privacy and security. We recently announced that in a series of steps, starting Chrome 79, Chrome will gradually move to blocking all mixed content by default. This change will improve user privacy and security on the web and present a clearer browser security UX to users. To review the timeline for this change and resources for migrating mixed content to HTTPS, check out the post. Word order and syntactic structure have a large impact on sentence meaning, and the task of identifying whether sentences with high word overlap actually have the same meaning is important to many real-world natural language understanding applications. To address this, we're releasing two new datasets for use in the research community. Paraphrase adversaries from word scrambling, or pause, in English, and pause X, an extension of the pause dataset to six typologically distinct languages. To get started with these data sets for paraphrase identification, check out the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Andrew Brogdon for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. There you go. I mean, that's it. It's going to be one.